Why is it that? Why is it that people in this world they equate not really, but really they equate the success of their marriage in the years they've been married. And if that's so, why does he look so miserable? And why is she is never home? And why are the children gone astray? Why? He never smiles. And when they're together, they just look like two birds, birds, that's in a tree. You know, not sitting in the tree together, just in the tree. And there's really no accomplishment. There's really no communication And they wouldn't even begin to tell you about their struggle because they say they've been together for 35 years and still struggling just to get along. And don't get me wrong, sometimes it takes a lifetime. In fact, well, I ain't gonna say in fact, because if it was me, not a lifetime for me to get to know you and to get to understand you. And to pray about those things. But I notice people always say, oh yeah. And half the time they not even smile when they say, we've been together 18 years. And then I think, wow. <laughs> they actually shared 18 years with us. And every time I look at them, they look miserable. They look unhappy. They look discombobulated, disheveled, confused, lost, unhappy. And everything that goes with unhappy. I put all of what I see in these people that be like, oh yeah, we've been together for 12 years. We've been married for... I put it on one word. And this one word is two words put together. Because <laughs> it's a job. Insubordinate. And complacent. <laughs> They're just there. So people need to stop. Oh, I've been here for 12 years. I've been together for, we've been together for 29 years, man. <clears throat> and a lot of them say that, and both of them, alcoholics. I mean, down to the ground. All they have in common is they pot heads and they smoke together. And I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking down on anybody. I'm just saying, you know, and what made, what op this whole post was, I was just in Home Depot and I met a lady. And if you want to know the culture, she was a, of the Caucasian culture. And she told me all her business while I was in there looking for a light switch plate for my bedroom. And it was a man standing nearby leaning over a cart with her stuff in it he just looked like charlie brown in the face when charlie brown heard about how everybody was talking about his little raggedy christmas tree and she whispered over to me and she said i was telling her how to do different little things in her house she said, I don't even know where to begin. I said, well, get your husband to help you. And she said, 
He don't know how to do anything. We've been together for 19 years. I'm on the bus. So she said, we've been together for 19 years. He lives with me. And he doesn't know how to do anything. And I, I'm looking like, saying to myself, like, what do I say to that? And I'm looking like, what do I say to that? So I'm just looking at her. And she said, oh, yeah. Um, he doesn't know how to do, I said, he don't know how to put in the sockets. Because we were talking about sockets and I was telling her not to do it. But I'm just afraid of the electric. And then I said, oh, I have a couple of people that can do that and they won't charge you much. She said, I'm on a fixed income. I work some days and um, he doesn't do anything. He just lives with me. And I, I don't, I said, well, you said that already. I said, you sound like you're complaining, like you need a way out. I said, do you need help? Are you telling me that? Because you need help because I'm a stranger and you're telling me this and you're repeating it. She said, no, I just don't know what to do because he's been with me for 19 years and my house and my house is falling apart. So she started naming all the stuff. She got leaks and the roof and um, some of the electric don't work because of the water and um, steps fell down where they live at so they got to go into the bad way. And so I was thinking to myself like I'm not sure how to help you lady like so in my mind I'm thinking okay she's venting and so I said so basically you're venting she said no yeah no I mean yeah um and I looked over at him and I said to her I said please don't talk about him to me because that's a man and we kill men this thing when we talk about him especially in this week and I looked over at him and he had his head down like a sad puppy leaning against the um, cart and you know how somebody lean on something they know it's not there so you can tell by their body language that this is not mine, but I'm going to lean a little bit on it. That's how I was leaning on the, car, on the car. And just had like this impatience to his body. Like, oh, God. Like, I know she talk about me. And it was just... I, 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 I thought, my goodness. And so I said to her, I said, so, are you unhappy? She said, well... I have not been happy since I met him. I just took him in. That's what it feels like. It feels like I took him in. And I said, oh, well, if you just took him in, you already know that this is what it was going to be. She said, no. I didn't know that he didn't know how to do this. I need a man that can fix a tire. I need a man that can connect wires when they come a loop. I need a man with some ambition, some a man that wants to help. He don't even want to help. And so, I said, if you don't mind me asking, you kept saying you took him in. Are you guys married? She said, yeah. I said, so, you don't mind me asking. What made you marry him? I don't know. I thought he was a good man. I said, well, what is his quality? She said, he don't have any. I said, everybody got some good quality. What do we do? She said, nothing. She said he does nothing, absolutely nothing. I said, do he pay bills? He used to, like the first two months, 
I said, and you're talking about 19 years ago? She said, yeah. And she gave me her phone number. She said, can you call me sometime? Maybe you can help me get some of this. I said, yeah, because that's just cosmetic stuff. I'll be glad to help you. I said, but you got to do some work too. I ain't going to do it all by myself because I'm doing stuff in my house. So I asked, I said, when y'all out and about and you with other couples and stuff, she said, we really don't be with other couples. I don't go nowhere. We don't do anything. I said, but if you do, if you come around couples and they say how long you've been together and you tell them, do you tell them what kind of smile? She said, yeah, but it's not the kind of smile that I'm smiling because we're in good standing. I said, well, what's the kind of smile? She said, well, it's the kind of smile where, you know, you did something for a long time. I said, I said, do you know that people, they're literally lying when they say that. And you can look on their face when they say, oh, we've been together for 15 years, but nothing to show for it. And she said, yeah, we have nothing to show for it. We don't even have a friendship. She said, I do everything for him. And he looked like he needed a haircut like 12 years ago. He looked like he needed clothes 12 years ago. He just looked like a sad puppy. And so when people start saying stuff like, oh, we've been married for 35 years. to be a boast or boasting because there's nothing good about boasting when you are passing years and years and years of your life away and there's no peace and happiness in fact you can't even get those years back Stop requested.